Welcome back. Companies like Nike and Coca-Cola are allegedly pushing back on legislation that would crack down on these forced labor camps in China. According to the New York Times, both companies are among several major businesses lobbying Congress to weaken the Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act that would ban imported goods made with forced labor in western China. The bill is expected to reject any products coming from Uyghur forced labor camps. Both companies have been accused of profiting off Uyghur slave labor. Both companies deny this, though. So let's get to it with our brand power team, media relations expert and founder of Allison May Public Relations, Allison Maloney. She's also a Newsmax contributor, doing a great job on National Report. Also with us, marketing and branding expert, Dr. John Tantillo, the marketing doctor who is also an applied research psychologist. Great to see you both. Thanks for coming back. Great to be here. All right, so, so John, you know, it's one thing that these companies get accused of profiting from slave labor. It's another thing to have them accused of trying to water down a bill in Congress that really has bipartisan support to make it easier for them to import stuff from these slave labor camps. But I just checked out the stock prices of both companies. They seem to be doing okay. You don't hear about any boycotts for either Coca-Cola or really Nike and Mass. So it seems like these brands are weathering this negative press. Well, uh, let's not be too comfortable with what is going on. Remember, when you're a woke brand like these two brands are, uh, there's plenty of time for their customers to um, uh, come up to and start to think about their policies. And I don't think they're on the right side of this issue from their customers' uh, position uh, which is uh, to be on the side of labor and to be on the side of workers. So uh, let's give it some time, and there might, there might have to be some uh, movement um, on their part to accommodate how their customers really feel about what's going on here. Allison, is this like a delayed type of response here? Do you think the consumer base will eventually wake up to this? Will they start to care? Because it doesn't seem like they care very much right now. Yeah, it could be a delay. You know, when Kaepernick, when they when he, they endorsed Kaepernick, their sales didn't go down. They got a lot of backlash on social media. But this is kind of a newer story. And there's a lot of evidence out there that consumers want companies that take a stance in social issues. A Sprout Social did a study and 70 percent of people say, yeah, we want to back and we believe in a company that that supports social issues. This is a social issue. And it's hard for a company to support uh, their football players who take a knee and yet now they're trying to push back on this legislation against slave labor so that's something that i think they're going to come across and i think they will start to see some backlash in social media and perhaps in some sales you know and we're not making the equivalency here obviously there have been allegations that there's genocide happening these forced labor issues but john you know german companies recovered from their uh, association with nazis in the past people think about bmw they might not realize that the logo is a propeller because BMW used to make, you know, Nazi warplane engines. They were not allowed to do that after World War II, so they started making cars. Uh, we could also talk about other companies as well, like Volkswagen and Audi, also on that list. And, you know, they're not clouded by those bad decisions back then. Are Nike and Coca-Cola going to skate on this? I don't know if they're going to skate, but they can come back if there is a backlash, because that's the beauty of branding. Uh, branding is all about responding to the needs of the customers. And with the right public relations campaign, with at which uh, Allison knows all about, uh, I think that anything can be overcome if it is perceived by your target market as being real and not manufactured. Yeah, and that's the thing. Again, it comes back to this question of, Allison, what does the consumer know? How much do they care about? I know a lot of our audience is in, in tune with what Nike did. I, we've heard from people that they boycotted Nike, but this seems to be you know, a much bigger issue here. And again, they don't seem very concerned about it. Yeah, it is a big issue. And again, it, it just depends on where their audience gets their news, uh, because a lot of the media may not be reporting this because it's not as important to some of the media outlets. So it really comes down to who is their target demographic? What is the age and what's important to them? Is it is uh, you know, taking a knee uh, important to them or is a potential slave labor important to them? It, it all depends on who their audience is. So I don't think they're going to see major backlash, but we'll have to wait and see what happens on social media. Yeah, we'll have to see how woke 
everyone becomes. Uh, people start to tune in and pay attention what's going on over there uh, in Western China. It's very scary stuff. Allison, great to see you. John, take care. We'll talk to you both soon.